this. The huge stone head of King Tut's grandfather has been discovered, un, uh, un, has been uncovered, I should say, in Luxor, Egypt. It's an eight-foot-tall part of a sculpture, part of a statue of the powerful pharaoh, found buried at the ruins of his mortuary temple in Luxor, on the west bank of the Nile. Let's talk about what this means with Betsy Bryan, a professor of Egyptian art at Johns Hopkins University. She's joining us on Skype from St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Amenhotep, who was he? Well, he was probably the richest king uh, who ever ruled over Egypt, um, and he was the father of one of the most amazing characters that has come to us from ancient Egypt, the man who changed his name to Akhenaten and who introduced monotheism to Egypt. Um, he was a, a king who obviously liked the ladies. He had quite a few wives um, and married some of his daughters as well. Um, and um, he loved art. He loved images of himself, and the bigger the better. He was uh, in power for, I guess, about 35, 36 years. Compared with his grandson, King Tut, he had quite a lengthy reign, right? He did, and he inherited an enormous empire that stretched from modern Syria to modern Sudan and was completely at peace. So he was able to uh, rest on the laurels and spend his money uh, at ease, building monuments to himself mostly. This sculpture that was just uncovered, I mean, the head itself is about eight feet tall, and it's my understanding that it was a full-body statue, parts of which had already been found. Is there any indication as to how it was broken apart or why? Well, it's, a, it's actually one of the mysteries that the, the team that's working there under Uruk Sarusian uh, and her husband, Reiner Stahlmann, are, are trying to work out because there are lots of theories about why these statues and the temple itself were so badly destroyed. Some people have thought that it was uh, an earthquake that did it. Other people have suggested that later kings actually deliberately ruined the place and chopped the statuary up. So one of their hopes is that they'll actually be able to figure out what happened there. In the photo of the, the head that we've been showing, there's a square recess. Do you know what that is? Is that where another piece of the sculpture was, was mounted, sort of a sort of a mortar kind of thing? Yeah, actually, you're, you're right on the money. That um, was the top of a cobra snake, which is one of the emblems that the king wears um, on his brow. And uh, the, the head of the cobra must have broken off in antiquity, and so they had cut a new piece uh, to restore it. So you were right on the money. Hmm. Well, it's going to be fascinating if they get this full statue assembled and, and sort of glued back together, which I guess is their goal, huh? That is their goal, and of course this is only one of a whole series of statues. They had, um, these stood between columns in the temple, and each one of them was 30 feet high. Wow. And he had a total of something like 24 of these. Yeah. Betsy Bryan, good to talk to you. Thanks. Thanks. People living in equatorial Africa are living in a hot environment. The skin must have been able to sweat very efficiently so that people could keep cool. And also because that skin was naked and therefore was prone to damage from ultraviolet radiation. And so the skin of our ancestors was dark full of the natural sunscreen, melanin. People ask us why are we so angry about this thing? Why are we so worked up about it? What does it matter? It happened thousands of years ago. Why does it matter? And the question arises, why does it matter to them? How did ancient writers describe the ancient Egyptians? To les écrivains. Grec et même romain de l'Antiquité ont déposé dans le même sens pour nous affirmer que les anciens Égyptiens de leur époque, pourtant qui étaient déjà très métissés, étaient des Noirs. All the writers of ancient Greek and ancient Rome agreed yes, that the Egyptians of their epoch, of their time, were in fact black. Or, cet Egypte-là, c'est l'Egypte de la fin. Donc, de la fin 
donc de l'histoire égyptienne. Et ceci que ça fait donc une période de 900 ans. For a period of some 900 years, beginning at the 4th century before Jesus Christ and going through the 5th century after, the Greeks were constantly witnessing to the fact that the Egyptians were black. Donc, les Égyptiens sont considérés comme des Noirs depuis l'origine jusqu'à la fin de leur histoire. So, they would be considered black from their origins, from their beginnings, all the way to the end of their civilization, as is indicated by the first king. Uh. Tired of the bullshit, we should get back on the throne. Everything seen happen alone. All one, strength is a measure with guns, with self grown, personified embodiments of the sun. Rays of ultraviolet from a lit burning pilot. Many people are silent in the world full of violence. Makers of mischief, mischievous misfortune. Be my own others and coffee. Are they keeping the seeds of these abortions? In the laboratories underground, use caution. Break down fish and bread in small portions. How many earthquakes it takes to them hard soft? More statues and pyramids are being found. On the hunt, are them certified bloodhounds? Still standing on the square, symbolizing the circle. These words heard everywhere. Everything changed, we're here to regain Our unified front so the legacy remain Builders of Sidonia, Mars civilization We enlighten the whole planet with education Lost in separation, chemicals and vegetation Living in a modernized plantation Being the kings, all we think in the street Just do it yourself cause they fall asleep Trust, you're giving help from the moment we meet We crush our enemies at the soles of the feet we Must Low mass, so a few niggas hold heat. Warrior tribes are the true elite, others are me. Eternally we glisten. It's time we stand for something, no longer ass kissing. So now the mass listen, this ain't bass fishing. All of a sudden, family animals end up missing. You see the flies on the poles with a number. The girl from one to get shape shift, and that's a bummer. Star Wars, Star Trek, reality. In the sky, strange life from Maldives Evidence of UFO fleets in the broad day Say you save me, as Lana would say You came knowing our music would change There are many different tones in the musical range In the twilight zone, bright, radiant, strange beams of inner wisdom Exist before name, blood on the garment, torn and stained They come to the hood for a profit to gain Moving together, we are popping the chain Export, import, products overcame Small ticks in the heads of a lion mane We're back in the flesh, it's time to brain Force of nature, spirit of your ancestors On the keys of the horn is Dizzy Gillespie Oh what a wonderful world was Louis Armstrong Knowledge acquired inside the warm oblongs We are writing a song with a cap tightened on We enlighten them all in a trap fighting born Child in the life scorn